Hello, my name is Jason Crittenden with SciTech Louisiana. We're out here in the field and we are going to set up a Trimble SBS 930 Universal Total Station for machine control. Uh, so we're going to set up, go through the setup process for the tripod and the UTS, along with doing a resection using a uh, back sight and a foresight. Uh, the controller we are using is a TSC-7 with Sightworks. And the machine that we are setting up in machine control is a CATS here. And you'll see on the left side we have a uh, MT-900 target. The machine is also equipped with GPS, dual GNSS. So this configuration will actually allow the operator to swap between UTS and single GNSS on the fly. We're going to go ahead and start Triple Sightworks and we're going to start our project. The open project screen will uh, come up and your project will show up. Or if you drop the drop down box, it will have a list of the projects that you have in the, in the job. You've got work order where you can select from a work order that's been created already or you can create a new one or do different designs on a project, which we only have one design. Have accept if it's correct. So in the receiver setup pops up, we will not be connecting a base or a rover, so X out. And we'll go to the main menu button here in the top left. Project setup, connect device, total station. All right, we will now go set up the Universal Total Station, and we'll come back to this and pick up where we left off. Okay, this is our SPS 930 Trimble Total Station. All right. When you set up your, your tripod, you can give it eyeball level to get all the way up. If you really want to be accurate, a little torpedo level up here, get it set. The next process will be in the UTS to your tripod. Ensuring that the tripod is set up and extended properly. You've got the locks on the three legs. You loosen them, you raise all the legs up, lock them back down. You want to have your the base of your tripod about this, just the so Once it's secured down, first thing we need to do is tighten, uh, level the tri bracket. You can get a shot of the level vial right here. We have a tri bracket, you got three adjustment screws. So we're, this is the first step in leveling the UTS. I get in, get in the uh, tripod as close as we can. Allows you to level it a little bit. Okay. So once it's set up, it's level. We're going to take our antenna and turn our antenna out here. We're going to make sure it's securely on here. We're going to stand it up. Here's your battery. You can only go in here one way. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to turn this device on. The green light should come on. So here on the face plate, you'll see the Trimble emblem. It'll say starting. We're going to go into the second phase. It's going to start counting down. We're going to hit the enter button set up level. So at 1 and 250 you see it's it's in the bubble. That's still not accurate enough for machine control. Hit the down arrow, the down button, down arrow, 1 and 100. You can see we have a slight adjustment to make. And we're going to hit the arrow. Once we get that close enough, we'll hit the arrow once more. Trimble's recommendation for machine control is 1 in 10. You can see we're out. So we hit the down arrow, we're at 1 in 10. So each, each movement of the screw is, is more and more sensitive. It doesn't take much to move it at 1 in 10. That looks good to me. So we're going to hit exit. And it's going to it's going to finish the countdown. And we're going to keep an eye on the channel and network ID that it's going to display. We we'll have SPS site positioning channels. So channel 4, network ID 3. So these are the channels that we're going to need to know to go to the data collector to connect to this device. I'm sorry, channel 7, network ID 10. And on a data collector, we go to menu, project setup, connect device, brand of total station, a triple. It's an SPS series. 
connection, connection type is radio. And you can see the radio channel and network ID is 7 to 10. Hit accept. As the device starts to connect, you'll see a tremble emblem display on the screen on the uh, data collect, on the uh, UTS. I'm sorry. I'll let you know that we're connecting. So once it's connected, you get this last opportunity to dial it in even tighter. Depending on what your need is, you may need to be tighter than this. This is sufficient for me. You tap the accept button. Okay, next thing we have to do is give the UTS the atmospheric corrections. There is a built-in barometer in the, in the UTS that measures the, the barometric pressure, but you have to have the, the check in the box next to read pressure from instrument. The temperature this, uh, at this particular moment is 75 degrees. It is recommended at every 10 degree swing, you, you reset up your atmospheric corrections and put the appropriate temperatures. Hit accept. So here on this job, we're setting up on an arbitrary location and we're gonna use two points to do a resection, a back site and a foresight. Once we hit accept, then we hit add point. Now we're gonna drop down the menu and we're gonna look for the control points in which we're gonna do our resection on. This point that we are set up on currently is UTS 2. And hit accept. Tap select. So we will be in standing mode. Our target height is 6.562 US feet or 2 meters. And if you're uh, not sure what 6.562 is, uh, you can just tap 2M. And the target type is 360 degree. And we're going to use auto lock. So we're going to measure this point. First, we have to turn the gun to it. We're going to gently turn the gun over to this target and use the course sight to lock it on. Once it's locked on, we hit measure. And it takes our measurement. This is our back sight. Now we're going to shoot our fore sight. We'll hit add point again. Drop down the menu. The next point we're going to shoot is down there on the other end of the job. It's called UTS-1. We're going to hit accept. So let's walk back over to the uh, portal station and we're going to lock on to that target. Select. All this information stays the same. We measure. And here is our the error that is in our setup. So since these control points were set by RTK, this UTS is accurate enough to show us that horizontally we're off 77 thousandths of a foot and vertically we're off 22 thousandths of a foot. For this job out here, this is sufficient. We're going to accept it. And then it's going to tell us, hey, do you want to accept it? It's out of tolerance, we'll hit yes. We do not want to save the instrument point for future use. The next thing we will do now is set the machine up in machine control mode. Now we're going to go shoot an elevation so we can bench the machine. So we're going to take our range pole, put this target in the data selector. An elevation. So our elevation right here, 49.24. Alright, to put the UTS in machine control mode, tap menu, project setup, machine control setup. I'm going to select no right now because I want to go through the setup process. So what it's asking for is it says to define the search window. So basically we're going to set the, uh, the highest left limit and the lowest right limit of the work screen. So I'm going to turn the UTS This limit of my work area, and we'll put a little angle on it, shooting upward. And I tap set. And I do the same thing for the lower right side. 
basically what this is doing, this is telling the UPS, this is the window in which I want searched if I lose my target. So once you set the upper left and lower right, tap next. I have saved the machine in here as cat skits here. The network ID is one and the channel is 31. Tap next. And you're gonna tap finish. Now the instrument is in machine control mode. We are now finished with the data collector and it can be turned off by pressing the power button. Exit site works by hitting exit. Yes. Hit windows. Power button here and shut down to turn off the data collector. So now we're done with this. Let's walk over and let's aim the ETS at the MT now. We're going to tap the machine setup tile. The switch, make sure that we are in the correct positioning source. Positioning source should be UTS left. And next, you see this little arrow that is blue. Cat grade or triple earthworks will kind of give you a hint. The blue button will be the next probable action they want you to do. So that is setup UTS. So in the UTS setup, we have some UTS tolerances. You can see the maximum distance it's set up at it's 656 feet. You will get a warning when you get beyond 492 feet. And you've got horizontal limits of a tenth and elevation limits of a tenth. The radio band's 2400 megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. The channel and network ID for machine control are in here as 31 and 1. And auto search, you want to be on yes. So we're going to hit next. UTS management screen pops up. On the bottom half, you see a white bar. It says waiting for start. That is this UTS. It is recognizing that there is a UTS waiting for connection. You will tap it to start it. Then you will tap it again for guidance. It will tell you configuring. And you can see the total station is turning around. It found the target. It's locked on. When it is locked on, it will say used for guidance. It tells us how much power we have left on our battery, 67%. And it tells us our horizontal distance from the device, which is 61 feet. We will hit done. We will tap apply. We will hit start. Now what we need to do is tap the UTS again going to tap bench. So we had a message that popped up. It said move the machine backwards and forward to determine the blade tip elevation. So we've done that. Now it's ready for our bench. So the elevation in which we shot a minute ago, I took the liberty of taking a picture of it so I would not forget. And that elevation was 49.24 and it was on left. So blade tip left. going to enter that bench elevation. Tap the blue bench button. When it successfully benches, it will say bench successful, hit done. Now you can see we now have our line work and we've got our cut and fill and we've got design elevation. Okay, we, we've applied our vertical offset that we want our stone at and that is negative 83 negative 83 uh, hundreds, and you can see we're pretty close to 30, within a tenth or so, within five hundreds here. And the next thing I'm going to show that I'm going to demonstrate is um, disconnecting from the UTS. We'll put it back in SPS mode. Do that by tapping the UTS. You hit the three dots or the ellipsis on the right side, and you hit stop. Gonna ask you, you want to stop instrument? Yes. And it puts it back down here and waiting to start. So to go back through the process to connect back to it again, tap to start, tap for guidance. And now to switch the positioning source from UTS to single GNSS to save time. You hit the shovel, machine setup, you change the positioning source. 
the GNSS right. Then we have to disconnect the yellow trimble radio and connect the sat tail radio. Which is disconnecting, this is already disconnected. And this piece right here. Uh, disconnecting this and then reconnecting this to right there. 